So along with the influences, you know, historical influences, it also presented some major challenges. Obviously, without understanding other cultures or having information base educated on or why cultures do what they do rather than, oh, it's different and therefore it's wrong. Attitude without having good understanding of what other cultures and why they do things really causes people to act out of ignorance in their responses. And for an unfortunate period of time, popular book was called The Ugly American. This was coming out of the 50s, early 60s, where well, this was a huge issue with Americans traveling overseas and being loud and gregarious and somewhat offensive to other places when they traveled and things like that and not taking into consideration other people's cultures and doing things that they would normally do in America that weren't necessarily acceptable in other countries. Globalization has expanded so much with business professionals, students going all over the world as exchange students coming in, expatriates working in other countries. All these challenges gave rise to the need to have some form of training to where they would help people going into different cultures and helping to prepare them for the the things that they w were going to experience and to help develop their intercultural sensitivity. This continues to be a challenge even today as things are continue to be learned and people struggle and come back and can inform those who do the training in different areas related to setting up home, schooling for the kids, communication, just all different sort of things out there that will influence people for being successful in a different culture.